Hey, Neil here. Mask review time. Another Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Part 3 mask. This is by KBFX. Um, I don't, I can't remember what he called it. Um, if he called it Junior or, or TCM3 or, I can't remember the name exactly. I apologize. Uh, this is a original sculpt. Let me pull the mask off the head form here. Uh, I know he did have some issues with, I can't, um, say that this is exactly like you're going to get the latex that he had the batch that he had when he did this mask he was having a lot of issues with because i guess there's a lot of water in it and stuff and it wasn't um setting up in the mold right so there's a lot of errors this one was more of a uh, kind of a practice from what i understand from uh, what kevin told me so uh, not paint wise and everything but actual mask because he knew it wouldn't be worn; it'd only be displayed so it's a little thicker in spots and everything um different than it would be if if you were to order it now um and I'll, I'll put the link on how to how to get a hold of one uh he did number it this is the number one um go over the mask a little bit all of the stitching he did sculpt in there's nothing hand stitched and everything that's great if you want to wear the mask um i actually kind of prefer it that way that way nothing's rubbing on your skin there's no parts that are coming through that irritate and everything and it's always going to look like that with regular stitching you know sometimes it might get messed up or tore if you know like the neck piece is cut and sewed back on a lot of times those don't hang right over time or they get stretched and ripped and torn so for a mask that you want to wear and haunt scare halloween whatever sculpt it in um, threads and leather pieces that's the way to go in my opinion he did a great job uh very detailed he when he started this sculpt he asked me if i had any reference photos um and i said i mean everything that i have i pretty much put out there it's on google or on one of my sites so he was trying to dial in as close as he could on um details and uh the texture and everything and he, he, he did really good, especially right over here uh, on the, would be the left cheek. It's, I mean, it's gnarly. It's, it's, a, it's great. Uh, hopefully over time that will withstand over lots and lots of casts and everything. Um, it's a great sculpt. He did a great job. The paint, it's a little darker than, than what you normally see on masks. You know, normally this is a little bit lighter. The cheek over here is a little bit lighter. So it's a little more darker tones of, of browns instead of tans and flesh color. So it's almost like it would be aged a little bit more uh, from what you see in the film, possibly. But overall, the, the paint, he did a great job on the paint. The paint's fantastic. It's not, you know, he, he knows what he's doing. It's not just acrylic paint daubed on or anything. It's on there. It's great. I believe, um, you know, I, I can't tell by looking, but I believe it's airbrushed on just kind of the way that it looks and everything. Uh, it does have the rose. The rose is on there. Um, these straps are real, of course. And then he, uh, he glued them so they're not going to come untied or anything. Great fitting mask. Uh, like I said, it's, I can't really say that it's a perfect fit because there are areas that are raised up because of the problem that he had with latex, but... I'm sure your copy will, uh, he'll talk with you and, you know, let you know if that's still an ongoing issue with his latex or he resolved that and got a new batch and everything. But, uh, yeah, KBFX, you can get a hold of him on, uh, I believe Instagram and Facebook. Like I said, I'll put the links, uh, on this, uh, video here, but yeah, check it out. Uh, I recommend it. Um, honestly, I don't, the top of my head, I can't remember the price. So I'm not going to say. I know it's over 100. I think it's 120, maybe 125. It might be more than that. Uh, I just I don't recall. It's been about three weeks. So again, I'm running behind every time I get a mask and uh, getting a review done on them. So, but uh, yeah, check it out. Awesome. You won't be disappointed. And I got more coming up.